Welcome Matt here and in this video we're going to look at how we can make the humble old 16 beat sound really exciting. So you're probably familiar with the 16 beat but if you're not it is a real common beat used in the disco genre like in this Michael Jackson track. But we hear this in all sorts of genres. It's an essential beat we need to know. Here's a rock example from the Foo Fighters. Okay, so both of those uh, beats perfectly work for those songs and they sound awesome. But sometimes we want to add a slightly more funky or interesting edge to our 16 beats. And in this quick lesson, we're going to break down five ways we can do that. Okay, so let's get into this. So first of all, I just want to show you the basic 16 beat, just in case you're not familiar with it. You can grab the sheet music from the link below um, so you can print it out and, and, and really get to work with these. But let me just show you um, just very slowly how to play this groove. Now the important thing to look out for is two hands on a hi-hat, playing right, left, right, left, right, left, all the way. So it's just single straight roll on the hi-hat with the snare on beats two and four. Okay, so the first thing I want to check out here to make this sound a little bit funky is to bring in another snare drum. So we're going to put this on the out of beat two. So one E and a two E and ah. Now remember, we're playing right, left, right, left here. So we're going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So the ah, all of these and ahs are with the left hand. So this snare is going to be played with your left hand. So you're going to have to bring that left hand down off the hi-hat onto the snare to play it. And to make this sound cool, we've also just nudge the second bass drum back onto the and of beat three. Okay, in the next example, it's just one small step from the first one. Sorry, I thought I was going into some uh, some, some moon talk there, but we got, this is one small step for drummers uh, to add one extra snare drum. So we're gonna do it again, it's gonna be a left hand. So before we had the extra snare on the out of beat two, so now we're gonna add another one on the E of three. Everything else stays the same, just sounds even more funky. All right, next up, this isn't gonna be a difficult one for you. It's just, it's just something, it's just an alternative way of doing it because this is gonna be like the first one we did there where we put the snare on the ah uh of beat two with our left hand, right? Well, now we're gonna play the exact same thing, but instead of a snare, we're just gonna play it as an accented hi-hat. So the thing to think about here, when we're accenting hi-hats, you don't, you don't really wanna play them much louder or much harder that's because that can be a bit abrasive. Actually, what we can do is we can just change the techniques. Instead of playing on the top of the hi-hat with the tip of the stick, like we're doing for all the other notes to get a nice clean sound, you're just gonna drop the wrist a little bit and play with the edge, um, the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi-hat and it creates just a thicker sound, which gives us that accented effect, right? So don't think so much like, I gotta beat the hell out of my, uh, my hi-hat to make it louder. Think more just like the timbre of it. Can we make a thicker sound to create that accent? Okay, and the next one is just gonna be a step on from the last one. So we're gonna keep that same hi-hat accent in place, but we're gonna add two more 
hi-hat accents right at the end. So four, E, and, ah, which is right, left. So we're going to accent with the right hand and the left hand there. Okay, so both of those, kind of that dropping of the wrist technique to create that thicker sound. Okay, and then the final example is taking the one we just did, but we're gonna add something a little bit tasty. Can you see on the, the third and the fourth hi-hat there, which is the one, E, and, R, both of those notes have a little diagonal dash through the stem, right? So what that means is the one note that you see with a dash through it is actually two notes, and we're gonna play it as a double. So those two notes that have the dash through them are in fact four notes, because each of them represents two. So the way that's gonna go is, Right, left, right, right, left, left. So it doubles the speed, effectively playing two 30 second notes there. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, so it doesn't look like two notes, but it is, that's, that's one way of writing this. So this adds a nice little double stroke thing. And what we're gonna do there, when, if you think about it, you're gonna go right, right, left, left on the hi-hat, then a right hand on the snare. When we break out those little five notes, that's a five stroke roll, right, right, left, left, right. So this is just one example of where rudiments can help us really embellish our beats and feels and take them to the next level. So if, you, if you've put the work in on the five straight roll in the past, this is, this is the payoff, all right? If you haven't, you're gonna to need to work on that to get it up to speed. So check it out slowly and then I'll play it a bit quicker so you can kind of hear how it affects the beat. Okay, that's it. This is just a real quick lesson just to show you some ideas on how we can take the 16 beat to the next level, add a little embellishment and make it sound exciting. If you like that guys, please hit subscribe. And if you want the free drummer's toolkit, there is a link for that below. It's packed with courses and lessons, play along songs, notation of famous songs, there's loads of cool stuff in there. Grab it below for free.